Hello world and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. The reason I'm walking right now is because we are getting ready to head right into Winterfest, which is Carowinds's uh, Christmas festival. So that's what we're doing. So I'm a little bit late for it. I don't wanna miss the tree lighting ceremony. So I'm walking while I do this intro. But yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a good time because not only is it opening night, opening weekend, but it's also a media event. So we get to try all the food, see the parade and do all that fun stuff. So I'm excited and I'm also tired because I'm walking fast, but let's get on in here and have some fun. Yeah, hopefully we don't miss any of it. It's supposed to start at 5.30. It's like 5.28 right now. I'm hoofing it. Traffic on 77 was crazy. Check out that entrance. I love seeing those snowflakes and the Christmas tree up. Gosh, they do a good job at that, don't they? All right, we've made it in. Holy cow. That was the fastest I've ever ran to get up here. But we have not fully missed the, the tree lighting ceremony yet. Check out these lights, man. They do such a good job. I was reading the description earlier on their website. It said millions of lights. Millions of lights here. It's crazy. It looks amazing. All right, they do a little show here. I can't show too much of it because it is copyrighted music and YouTube doesn't allow me to do that. So I am going to video some of it, but put, overlay some music to it. Just understand that their music is better. That's for sure. Look at these lights. We got Christmas music playing. I picked up my media pass and we are gonna head over to uh, Harmony Hall to try out some of the food. One of the reasons I really like coming on a media pass is to try out the food. Because if I were to come by myself, like turn down the media pass and come down by myself, I'd have to buy all of that. And I couldn't try as much and put it on camera for you to see. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons that I look forward to coming to these media events is to be able to put the food on camera and talk about it. Check out how gorgeous this is right in front of Harmony Hall. They have a big blue tree. Well, I guess a bunch of blue trees, right? We saw these snowmen and things out playing music before, but when they, they light up, it just takes on a whole different form. This place is gorgeous. Never mind. Looks like we're headed back to Leonardo's towards Aeronautica Landing for this. I thought it was in Harmony Hall. Dang. Check out Camp Snoopy. I love these colorful trees. If I'm not mistaken, they've been putting these up here for a while. But yeah, this is the kids section of Carowinds and they also decorate it up as well. Soak this one in right here. This place is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They got reindeer here. Looks like inflatable snowflakes. We looked at those last week when I came from my update video and they're all blown up now. They're not kind of droopy. <laughs> I am telling you, you could just walk through here and look at the lights and probably get your money's worth. They actually ran a sale here lately for $20 a ticket to this. So this is well worth 20 bucks in my opinion. We're in Leonardo's, formerly Chick-fil-A. We're about to have ourselves some food. Everybody's in here. And we're ready to go. We're gonna show the merch here. They got a merch table out though. I'm gonna wait my turn. Here's some of the merch out here. Let's check it out. Look at that uh, drink right there. It's got Snoopy on the front. Most fun ever. Got some fudge laid out. And here's some shirts. They have more shirts. So this is not all of the merch, but I know they had other shirts out as well. Snoopy Merry Christmas shirt and Tis the Season. Exciting time here, right? We just got through scarrowings, the lights were out, people were running around, everybody was drinking. 
now we can kind of slow down <laughs> and enjoy ourselves, really focus on what the holidays are about. It's the family, right? So a little sweet, salty, and a little contrast. Fan's favorite, I think uh, Frank ate a couple of them, the big boss, so as long as he ate them, I know everybody will love them, right? Um, All right, let's check out the food here. We got a carrot cake whoopie pie, pumpkin spice churros, ginger snap cheesecake, pecan pie funnel cake, that looks good, deep fried cornbread, an Italian wedding soup right there. And the gobbler. That's like all your Thanksgiving Christmas foods on a sandwich. Check out these uh, hot chocolates too. Dang. Gingerbread cupcake. Sliced ham slaughters. Cinnamon pull apart bread. That is amazing by the way y'all. They've had this for a couple years and I love the cinnamon pull apart bread. Ray's hot guacamole. White Christmas chicken pizza. These things, center roll cookie, lumps of coal, cranberry loaf. Oh, you're good, you're good. Maple Street Racha chicken meatballs, maple bourbon chicken thighs, shrimp and crawfish etouffee. I don't know. How do you say that? Etouffee? Yeah, etouffee. Etouffee. Oh, wow. I got it right the second time. Candy apple turkey leg. And then they also have some s'mores kits as well. They got the regular uh, chocolate, and then they got the cookies and cream one. Now we get to try out some of this stuff, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. This is what we're starting with right here. We got some meatballs, some pizza, and I think, I don't know what that is. We're gonna try it out though. <laughs> I, should, I just showed it on the video, so try to remember what these things were, y'all. I'm a professional amateur. Don't be hating. So it looks like I had the white Christmas chicken pizza. I don't think I had any of those peppers on mine, but it was all right. I mean, I'm not usually a fan of pizza here in like theme parks and things, but I mean, it was all right. I, I didn't really care for it until I got to the sauce. The sauce was really good. I also had the maple sriracha chicken meatballs. Those were good as well, but I think, I, again, I wanted more sauce on that. Now the maple bourbon chicken thighs, those were really, really good. Definitely suggest those. They were very sweet, very tender, had a ton of flavor in it. Oh, and I was gonna show you this too, I almost forgot. They have a bacon cinnamon roll. That's what that is right there. It's a piece of bacon with a cinnamon roll on it. One of the things I really wanted to try was this sandwich here. It's got like turkey and dressing and cheese and all on it. Maybe some cranberry sauce too. I don't know. I'm going to try it out, though. They didn't have these. They were all picked over when I got here, but now that they've restocked them, I'm going to grab me a few. Or maybe just one. Those are big sandwiches. Let me tell you, that turkey sandwich with the dressing on it, the cranberry sauce, that is cranberry sauce, right? Yeah. Some sort of cranberry sauce. Yeah. Amazing. The bread on it was so fresh. I was listening to the chef talk. I can't put everything he says on there because he talks for about 30 minutes, but... He said that they make the bread fresh every single day, and it tasted like that. The bread was really good, and I'm not even like a bread fan. So, yep, that tells you what I think about that. I would buy that again with my own money for sure. My wife just gave me this lump of coal here, and let me tell you, it was good. This inside is like really squishy, really soft. I think it's like red velvet, maybe a little hint of cherry or something. I would buy this with my own money too. Be prepared though for that lump of coal to leave its mark. Check this out. I look like I'm like part of Kiss or something like that. All right, food's done. That was really good. I'm telling you, the food this year, if it tastes anything like what I just taste, is really good. My favorite thing was that turkey sandwich with the dressing. And I don't even like bready dressing food like that. I don't like bread or dressing. But that was my favorite. The bread made it amazing. So I would definitely get that again for sure. The chicken was also good. I like the meatballs. Um, least favorite was probably the pizza. But yeah, how about those sweets? Very sugary, but I didn't find one that I didn't like, especially this hot chocolate. But what do you say we turn around here, head on down to Tinker's Toy Factory and see what that's all about. Check out the Windseeker tree. That is amazing. I always love seeing that thing every single year. And just look at the general lights here. Man, you can't beat these lights. They are gorgeous. Let's go check out Boo Blasters. And there you go. There's Boo Blasters, one of my favorite rides here at Carowinds. 
It's an oldie but goodie. I absolutely love this ride. And it's looking good for Christmas, huh? Now what do you say we head on down to Aeronautica Landing and see what that looks like for Christmas? I see a few multicolored lights up on the trees. The airplane next to Windstar is done up. We saw this on my last week's update video. I don't think there were trees in that update video. Just uh, flabbergasted penguins. Those are my favorite decorations of the entire Winterfest are those flabbergasted penguins. Look at this. And that looks like it does it for the Christmas lights over here at Aeronautica Landing. There's not a whole lot, but there definitely are some decorations. So if you like this area, come over here and check them out. And I don't want to get too involved in listing everything that isn't running, but you can definitely check their webpage and that should show you what's running and what isn't. I know Afterburn isn't though. And also add Intimidator to that list too. It is not running for Winterfest. They have the igloo set out where it is. But check out Blue Ridge uh, Junction here. They do such a good job, y'all, with these lights. It's got to take forever. Don't forget the Windseeker tree. Super cool. Looks like some fire pits over here with a stage. We'll have to try to catch that show later. It says Sounds of the Nativity. So I guess it's like your, your uh, classic like Christian Christmas songs. There's some characters out here. Hey. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. Dasher's Diner here, not Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. Don't mess that up, it's Dasher's Diner. And you got the tacky sweater bar over here. This place is gorgeous. And here is the county fair. This is my favorite section because I really like the red and white lights and the polar bears and the Santa Claus and every other stuff they got here. It is a gorgeous area of the park right here. County fair is nice. And I was right in my update video. This looks like the stage here is for a little show. They have some speakers in those presents. That's what those black nets are for. It's called Polar Party. 545, 645, 745. They'll be right here. And we're over here at the boardwalk now. They got the multicolored lights over here. A couple snowmen. The boathouse is all, or boat works, I guess is what it is. It's a boathouse to me. Did you know like a gondola system used to go through there? drop people off you would get on it up there and ride the gondola to the other side of the park but yeah i'm telling you they're doing an amazing job look at these christmas ornament bulbs over here to the right that's over near pier 73 sweet frogs is all done up too look at that, look at that. now correct me if i'm wrong but i remember this trolley being driven around the park and having like little pop-up shows it looks like it is not going to be driving around the park this year it looks like it's going to be stationary they've got a sign out here the show that's going to be at it is twas a merry mishap six seven and eight o'clock all right we made it over to carousel park we're being welcomed by this sign right here this is probably my second favorite place to go to during Winterfest here at carowinds because the white lights to me are classic my family used to do a lot of white oh gosh look at them go yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that mess. Uh-uh. That doesn't make for a merry 8-bit, that's for sure. I'd probably get taken down by YouTube if I had to ride that. But look how pretty this place is. We're headed over to the Carowinds Theater right now to check out a show there called Tinker's Toy Factory. They used to have that show over at Camp Snoopy, but it's moved over to here, and I'm kind of anxious to see if anything new is in this show. Now, last year they had a show over here and we were not allowed to video record, but we were allowed to take some pictures. So if that's the case, I'll take some pictures, put some music with it. If I can video, I'll video. Look at this carousel. I'm telling you, absolutely gorgeous. You got Sky Tower peeking up above it over there. All these awesome Christmas lights and check out how they've wrapped Carowinds Theater right here. It says Tinker's Toy Factory. Got a nice little set up outside looking good kind of looks like it's got some fresh paint but it's not paint it's like a wrap <laughs> it still looks really good i can't get over this carousel though i figured i'd catch a glimpse of the sign here with the the times that this show happens it's 5 30 6 30 and 7 30 and it's right under these reindeer let's head on in there
Oh yeah, they've definitely upped the production value of this. Look at look at all those signs. This is definitely not what it was like in Camp Snoopy. They have upgraded this a lot. Yeah, check this out. Props everywhere. We've got some gears up on top. There has been a lot more money put into this show for the Carowinds Theater version, that's for sure. Heck yeah, we got permission to video during this show. So I'm, I am going to get some highlights on this for you. It is necessary to have a basic understanding of the spinal anatomy of the lumbar region. Common causes include improper lifting and poor posture. Huh? A strained back. <laughs> Stinking awesome. I had a blast on that show. And at the end of it, I bumped into What's Next Robert. Go check out his channel. Let's get started. Give this guy a thumbs Robert up here. and likes. Oh. Subscribe, man. The adventure is just out there. It, it is. Yeah. Do you like the show? Love it. Yeah. Yeah. This is streamers. I, I was taken by surprise, but I enjoyed the streamers at the end there. And uh, yeah. yeah. Let's go. We'll talk more about it here in a little bit, but I got to head back in real quick before the show. So, yeah, good seeing you. Good seeing you, too. We're definitely going to talk about it in a little bit, but I have to show you this. I am on stage right now. Maybe I can apply for, like, one of the positions. Maybe I can dance a little bit. Probably not, but it's worth a shot, right? Maybe I can go up there and do it in front of them, and they'll just hire me because I'm so good. All right, now let's talk about that show that was awesome definitely much different than what we saw in camp snoopy that's for sure much bigger production value and everything they had the good the lights going awesome lights they had their streamers at the end um so it was about santa and he comes in and says that his back's hurting or something and all the elves are trying to figure out what to do if santa can't go during christmas they're all singing and dancing trying to figure it out and i'll let you see the end of the story on your own but it was really really good i loved it my daughter also loved it and she's four so if that tells you anything she's a pro at judging stuff like that now what do you say we head on down to thrill zone and see what that place looks like there is just something everywhere we go and i love walking around trying to figure out where everything is it's kind of like an adventure that's why i like theme parks and amusement parks right next to the fury you've got mrs claus's kitchen here you come in here pay an extra charge and make cookies with Mrs. Claus. Man, look how nice they've done that. I keep saying stuff is gorgeous and nice and pretty and all, but like, how else would you describe that? And it's a lot of fun. Like my daughter did it last year and Miss Claus came through here and uh, kind of met her and talked to her, kind of did a meet and greet. It's pretty fun. Check out Fury 325. There goes some people right there. You know, I love coming over here to these special events at night and riding Fury, because being way up there, 325 feet in the air at night, you can see Charlotte if you look a certain way. It is gorgeous, y'all. Talking about Fury, look how short the line is. It's right over there, underneath the stairs. I bet you that's like a five to 10 minute wait or so. I need to get some uh, merchandise put in this video as well. But we are headed back right now to look at some of the crafts that they have at Blue Ridge Junction. Look at all these gingerbread things. It's amazing. So after I do the, uh, the crafts, we're going to watch the parade. And then at the end, I'll do the merchandise. I usually like to do the merchandise first. What's over here? Looks like we have 
a vendor stand here. We got like s'mores kits, pull apart bread, and hot chocolate right here in the Thrill Zone. All right, I think we're gonna bypass the crafts because we can't find them and the parade is about to start. But check this out. They left Ripper Alley up from Scarewinds and decorated it. Definitely not the same Ripper Alley I saw like a month or two ago, right? Look at all these wreaths. That's gorgeous. I said gorgeous again. I keep saying gorgeous. How many times have I said that? They have brought the ice rink back for 2023 here. I love skating, y'all. If you don't know, if you're watching my videos, I like to rollerblade and ice skate because I am a huge hockey fan. So here at Snowflake Lake, you can do it right next to Harmony Hall, right under the Intimidator in Carowinds. And the price of that is $15 per skater. I'm telling you, if we had time, I would like to do the Sky Tower and look at all these lights. I bet it is really nice up there. So if you come over here and uh, you do it before I do, tell me how it is. We are standing here waiting on the parade. It is going to start at the Intimidator and go back to the water park. So it's kind of backwards is what it used to be. And I wanted to point something out before the parade starts. The igloos right here, those little bumps, those are igloos. They're like inflated in igloos and they're heated and everything. So um, yeah, you can rent them out. It's around, I think it's like $200 a night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the website says $200 a night, but check the website just to make sure I'm right on that. We're at about 8.58, the parade's supposed to start at nine and we have some characters out here interacting with some people right here at the entrance. Or the, not the, really the entrance, but the start of the parade. That's what I'm gonna say. So we're down here and that, man, the music starts blasting. Oh, there it comes back. I was gonna say it quit. It's almost good that it quit because then I don't have to worry about copyrights, but I'm gonna mute this video soon. Oh, Santa comes out first, look at that. Santa is out first, that don't normally happen. But yeah, I'm gonna have to mute this video because of the copyright music. Hope you enjoy the break. Okay, y'all, I got the official word on the igloos here. It comes with four free hot, well, included hot chocolate cups that are refillable. You get an exclusive menu that you have to pay for the food on, and um, it's a fireplace inside there to keep you warm. And the price of this tonight is $199. And check it out. They're opening it up for us. Let's go check it out. Whoa. Look, there's the fireplace. It's an electric fireplace. And there's it some skates up there. It looks and some like comfy we're, couches. What? It looks like we're living in here. It does. Is this our new house? Here's our menu. And our flowers. Yep, there's a flower. It's pretty cool, but I don't know. $199. I might have to try that next week. Our media passes allow us to skate for free. It's normally $15. And right here are the times that you can do it at. And I think she said the smallest size for kids that they had was an 11. So Here's our skates right here and they don't look half bad. I've definitely skated in worse rental skates than this. Here we are. 
We got a shoe rack over here. There's the gate to get in. We have about 20 minutes to skate, so we gotta hurry up and get out there. This is this is super cool. I can't wait to get out there on the ice. Check a couple people. No, I'm playing. Don't check people. That's that's against the rules. Here we go. We're going full sin. I wanted to point out too that the pusher things, this right here. That helps uh, people balance, mostly like kids and things, because it's pretty low, but I see so, <laughs> see a few adults out here. No shame, no shame. Get out on the ice and enjoy it, no matter what you gotta do. But they are included in the $15. We're not paying anything extra to get one of those for my daughter. And here they are, fresh for the picking. Oh, they've got fire like pits over there. And that wraps up skating. I'm sorry I couldn't take y'all out there. I tried to do it. They told me no filming equipment out there. And it makes sense because they said if you fall and you break something and all the plastic or glass goes everywhere, it's hard to clean up out there on the ice. So I definitely understood that. So yeah, ice was a little choppy, a little choppy, not gonna lie. Skates kind of started hurting my ankles. But let me tell you, had a blast, had a total blast. I think it's a pretty good deal for 15 bucks to get out here and enjoy this. I had a good time. Yep, I would totally do that again. That was a lot of fun. I came over here to get a look at some merch and realized that this is where like the crafts is. They, they make a letter for Santa over here. They've done that before, but I was expecting this to change into a merch store because that's what it usually is, like a seasonal merch store. So I just thought they would change it up this year and turn it into a merch store, but apparently not. Look at all the decorations in there. Everything is so highly themed here at Fairwinds now. It's almost a theme park at this point. All right, we just mailed our letter to Santa. Santa, we need a Gabby dollhouse. That's what we're getting this year. So Santa, please be quick, please be swift, and I might give you a chocolate chip cookie. I don't know. So I guess that leaves this store right here. Pre formerly Premier Store, now North Pole Mercantile. Let's head on in there and see if some merch is in there. I did a merch update last week. And let's see if they've got any new merch for this week. Check out that 50th, man. That is a heck of an entrance right there, isn't it? I love it. So you got some unbranded Carowinds merch. It says Santa Paul's Happy Holidays. Stuff like that. Check out this tree. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They just keep saying, oh, I didn't notice. They're all bones on there. And then over here, like I said before, we got some 50th merch. None of it really says Winterfest that I can see, but cool presents nonetheless. We've got some Christmas tree ornaments right there. A sweatshirt. Let's see what that price is on a sweatshirt. $60. I said this in my last video, but I'll say it again. I don't care. You might be watching this for the first time. $30 for this shirt. 50th shirt. And this is a really cool shirt right here. Pays homage to uh, Thunder Road. And check out the back. Yeah. That was a cool ride, wasn't it? $28.99 for that is what the tag says. You got socks over here and hats, bottles, all that stiff. Yeah, that's about it so far. Let's head to another section. And here is the Carowinds branded merch section right here in the corner for Winterfest specifically. Tis the season to sparkle. Um, $19.99 more tis the season to sparkle in red and here is a spirit jersey those are pretty cool if you're if you're a fan of disney world you know what a spirit jersey is let's see what the price of this is it's 69 and 99 and this is my favorite shirt right here it's very sparkly i don't know if you can tell that you can kind of see it in the life it says winterfest carowinds i like shirts that say what i did and where i did it and it is 18.99 now we're in the Simply Southern section here, and they have some holiday gear as well. But first, coffee. Should say hot chocolate. Team Santa. Shine bright. Oh, they got some, like, onesies. Is that a onesie? Yeah. Footed pajamas? What do you call that? Yeah, that's like a onesie. They got, like, onesie slash footed pajamas. I don't really know what you call it. That's pretty cool. $30 for that. $29.99. And here's your drinks, your mugs, or whatever you call them, your cups. And over here. Here's some more stuff from Simply Southern. They got a spongy babe. Do you have a spongy babe? And here are some more shirts over here. I'll get that on camera for you. And then let's scan to this one, which I've already shown for some reason. Merry and Bright. Merry Christmas, Simply Southern with a truck. 
There's some more truck stuff, more puppy stuff, and more gingerbread things and all of that merry and bright checklist. And thank you, Carowinds, for inviting us out, putting us, putting us on this media list, and giving me and my family a good time. So thanks to all the workers here at Carowinds. We appreciate you. And I think I'm going to end it right here because there's some good lighting. And you can't beat good lighting, right? I had a great time here at Winterfest. So there are some rides open. There are some rides that are closed. But if you come out here looking at, for lights and a good family time, as well as a few rides, then you're going to enjoy this. Like seriously, they have 5 million lights up. That's what Ryan told us earlier. And lots of things to do. Lots of crafts, lots of shows, lots of little singing events. It's a good time. I love the food this year. The food was amazing. So I'm definitely gonna come back and get that turkey sandwich with the dressing on it, the cranberry sauce. I'll be talking about that tomorrow. Um, and don't forget that about uh, that. Don't forget about that pull apart bread. I'm so excited about it. I can't even say it right. Pull apart bread is money. So with that being said, I hope you all had a good time. Thanks for watching and thanks for playing. Bye. Are you still watching? My goodness, that was a long video, but it was a good one, right? If you're still watching, you're in the Candy Cane Crew. Do a hashtag Candy Cane Crew down at the bottom in the comments and have yourself a great night. Thanks for watching.